Hello everyone, Jeff from RespawnStudios.com and EasyXbox360Achievements.com here with part one of two of all red bricks in Lego Harry Potter, years five to seven. This will cover the first ten. There are twenty total, so the other ten will be in part two. Alright, so this is just outside of the Leaky Cauldron on the streets of London. You have to Wingardium Leviosa, two pieces of trash into trash cans, and then you Wingardium Leviosa, the trash cans, into the dumpster. <laughs> Not too bad, just takes a couple steps. Then a worker pops out, and then a red brick pops out, and then, as with all of them, you just have to take it over to Hedwig. So that's why this video is kind of long for 10 collectibles, because I leave in the whole time of me running over to Hedwig. <laughs> I could have cut it out, but I decided just to leave it in so you see which red brick is which. So there we go, gold brick detector. Uh, this is in one of the courtyards of Hogwarts. You have to... Um, I don't remember what you do to blow open this door, but you have to like blow something up to get into here, and then you just hit the tree with a spell, and you get collect ghost studs. All right, this is another courtyard at Hogwarts. You have to use Agumenti. And then you stare at the bush for a while. <laughs> now you have to knock off the things of berries. And then eventually, do you hit it enough? <laughs> there we go. Invincibility, there we go. I also have timestamps in the bottom in the comments so you know where each of these are. I guess I should have mentioned that at the beginning, but oh well. <laughs> Hopefully you're just still watching. Alright, this is outside of the tent the first time in year 7. You um, can make this little mushroom guy and you can ride him around. <laughs> there are these five points on the ground and if you have the uh, have already entered the codes, like you see all these character token arrows and the red brick arrows. So you just have to run over these five mushrooms in the ground. And then it pops out. And for some reason, even though I have this red brick, obviously, because I'm getting it right here, it doesn't show that I have it, which is weird. Every time I come back to this area, it still shows like I don't have it, because the red arrows are still there. And there we go, Christmas. Alright, this is at uh, Hogsmeade Station, just after we get off the Hogwarts Express. You have to uh, use dark magic to break off part of that sign. And then I was confused, like, why didn't it just come out? I don't think it has anything to do with these uh, barrels that I'm hitting. I think you just have to aim a spell at the Hogsmeade sign now. But I was doing all this because I wasn't sure what to do. <laughs> there I go, just aim a spell, it spins around, and we get it. I think this is actually Red Brick Detector, Red Brick. <laughs> yep, there we go. Okay, this is um, just after the covered bridge on the way to like Hagrid's hut or the Quidditch pitch. You just have to use the uh, Luna's glasses quibbler dispenser box. And then you're able to see these pieces. You put together that stone and the red brick immediately appears. And there we go, fast dig. Alright, this is outside of the Room of Requirement. You just have to use uh, Reducto on that one statue. I believe this is on the left side. Yeah, left side of that hallway. And then you have to run the red brick all the way back over to the right side to where Hedwig is. And there we go. Stud Magnet. <laughs> always a fun name. And always useful as well. Alright, now we're getting into the score multiplier ones. We're going to get times 2, 4, and 6, I think, to end this video. 
So this is in Hogsmeade, just outside of uh, Three Broomsticks. You have to, again, get Luna's glasses from the Quibbler dispenser. And you come down to this bottom left corner. Just be wary, because you could easily go back into the other section, because that's where that path goes. But you just create that snowman. After he does his dance, takes off his hat, and you get the red brick. So we run it up here to Hedwig, and we get score times two. Alright, this is on platform nine and three quarters, accessed via the street in London. You just have to use, I always screw up the name of this spell, I think it's Defindo, <laughs> the red spell. Um, and you just trace like a... The key marker on the lock, and it breaks, and you get the red brick. And this is score time is four. Alright, this is that pathway that I was just talking about from Hogsmeade. If you go past that snowman area where we just were, you come into this section. And you have to use Ron to use the deluminator. You get the light from right next to Hedwig, and you bring it down here. Put it up in this light, and it melts the ice. And we get score time six, and that'll do it for part one of our red brick guide. Hope that helped, and hopefully I'll have part two out within the next couple days. All right, thank you for watching.